Hey everybody, great to see you back. And before we get into this product review, I'd just like to remind you to like, subscribe, and share. I want to get a couple thousand more viewers. This has been dragging out for so long. So let's just help me out and let me get there. I want to see 10,000 subscribers. So go ahead, do it. Today, we're going to take a look at a Phantom Power Box that I am using to power up this mic and send it straight into my Fuji X-H2 that I'm shooting on on 6K today. So obviously, if you want to use a Phantom Power mic, you got to feed it Phantom Power. And there's really not a lot of options out there. I mean, sure, you can get involved with a regular mixer and drop some serious bucks on that. But what if you just want to power the mic up and plug it in? And that's what this guy does. It's got a lithium battery in it. It's got an on off switch and it has a choice of 12 or 48 volts. And of course, if you use 12 volts, it's going to last a lot longer. So your first question is, why don't they just build this into the camera? I mean, that would be simple, right? Well, converting the I don't know, seven to eight, nine volts that most of these mirrorless cameras run on up to 48 volts is a fairly inefficient process. And even though we're only talking about needing to power 15 to tops 20 milliamps, it's still actually a pretty serious power draw on a small battery. And so that's why you don't see it on most cameras unless they can accept either external power or maybe you've got an audio module that's got its own power supply. And even then, the power is gonna get run down pretty quick. So that's where this thing comes in. Now, there's not actually a lot of options out there, and I was kind of surprised. I did a lot of research on this. This is one made by Newer or Newer, the N-E-E-W-E-R, and it's actually pretty well made. It's totally solid metal. It's designed actually for stage or PA use, where it's gonna get kicked, smacked, and knocked around. It's actually designed to be used in an unfriendly environment. And it does have an internal battery that'll run for 40 hours. The internal battery really does last that long. It's a pretty amazing runtime. There are a couple versions of this out there, and this is the USB-C version. Uh, so the power charging is right there that you can use to charge this up. And there is an older version of it that's a little more compact, but it's one of those wretched micro USB connectors that I've just sworn off having anything with that connector in my gear. So that's done. So this is pretty much the only choice. There are a couple of older boxes out there, and I actually happened to own one. It was a sheet metal case box. So two things. One, it ran on a 9-volt battery, so I'd have to adapt that out because I'm not going to use 9-volt batteries. This is a totally ridiculous thing. And it didn't work. It powered up for about 30 seconds and then failed, which indicated it probably had bad capacitors in it. And I just decided I'm not going to get involved with putting new capacitors into a unit when I got this for 50 bucks. I mean, the equation just wasn't there to sit there and play around with this thing and do all kinds of parts replacements. It probably would have worked, but then I still had to deal with the power thing. And I just said, nah, 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 forget it. So this is pretty much the only deal out there. And it's not a preamp, just to be clear. It's not boosting your mic level up to line level. It's just powering the mic up. So this is also, of course, a test of the X-H2's preamps, which are certainly clean enough for doing most things. Downsides of this unit, it's heavy. Being made of metal, it's definitely heavy, and it wasn't really designed to be mounted on any sort of a camera rig. So surprisingly, it's missing any sort of quarter 20 holes or 3 8 holes on it of any sort, or even a metric. And it doesn't have a belt clip or anything on the back, which I was a little surprised at because I figured, you know, sometimes you've got plates on cameras or something that you could, could just clip it on. Your only real choice for mounting this is to put Velcro on the back, which I haven't quite done yet, but I'll probably get there. And of course, you're going to need an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack, which is a couple bucks because this doesn't come with anything or maybe it comes with a USC, USB-C wire. I don't remember, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, after doing a lot of looking around, pretty much, this is the only deal out there if you want a phantom power, a good quality mic, feed it into a mirrorless camera, and not have a giant hassle. Okay, 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 okay. Technically, you could spend four or 500 bucks for one of those audio modules that goes into the hot shoe, but 
this. Sometimes you just get tired of spending endless amounts of money on gear and you just want to keep it simple. And for not a lot of bucks, that's what this does. It's worth checking out if you're on a budget or you just don't want to buy one of those audio modules and you can make the size and weight of this work in your setup. See you next time. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.